Put down the camera. Just enjoy where you are. Take in the sights. There's a lot to see. You don't have to take a picture of everything and share it on Instagram. That's just not something that you have to do. Hello, wonderful world of YouTube. I am now presently in Portland, Oregon. We're out because the clouds, I don't know if you can really see. Look at the conditions. We have some nice cloud cover, which gives me the impression that there is a likelihood of catching a really nice sunset. So I have not photographed here in Portland since 2017. These are some of the photos that I took last time when I was here in Portland, which were pretty good. But as you always know, I like to come back to the same location and see just how much I've improved, especially when I have updated gear. And that is what we're going to do today. So right now I'm preparing to walk on the Hawthorne Bridge and we're going to go to the other side. Now, the last time that I was out here, I did not photograph. Well, I, I did photograph part of the bridge. I walked on it a little bit, but I never actually like, like how I'm traversing it right now, didn't do that before. So this is a first and where I want to go is essentially the exact same location that I was at before. So there is a pier that is over on the other side and we're gonna make sunset perfectly. I still have a lot of time, about an hour. And we're just gonna get set up, make sure that where I want to actually photograph is the ideal location. I don't think there's anywhere else that I wanna want to photograph, so I don't have to think too much about that, which is great. A little bit of what I'm doing today. Right now I have Aaliyah, I'm sorry. I don't know why, I always call Aaliyah first, but lately I've actually been photographing with Ariana. So I have Ariana, which is the Sony Alpha 1, and I have a Zeiss Loxia. 21 millimeter lens attached. So I've already gotten it prepped for doing some sunset photography because I put the L bracket on. So that way when I'm doing the vertical to horizontal, it's a lot easier to mount this on the tripod head as opposed to having it off to the side with the tripod, which I don't like to do. We've gotten this camera prepared. Well, we've gotten both. I have Aaliyah that's in my bag. She presently has the Loxia 35 attach because those two focal lens are what I had. I had a 16 to 35 the last time that I was here. So that's why I already know what lenses I wanted to actually have attached to the camera. I think that's gonna be ideal. That's gonna work for what we're doing. And we'll go from there. Wow, that's a beautiful composition actually. Look at how those clouds are forming. Wow, that's pretty. Let's see if we can get a nice horizontal of this. I think we can. Yeah, we got some nice clouds here. And the 21 is a good composition. Wow, that looks good. Even kind of bringing the camera over this way a little bit. It's a nice little composition. Oh yeah, this, this looks good. This looks really good. Since I'm not in a rush, that's, that's a come I'm kind of taking my time, seeing what kind of other compositions I can capture. So right now, this is F8, uh, 800th of a second, ISO 400. I could go lower. I just choose not to, you all know that. ISO 400 is perfectly clean. I mean, there's not really much difference that I'm gonna obtain detail-wise from ISO 400 as opposed to 100 or 50. It's really not necessary. Well, I should say it's not necessary to me. Since the last time that I did filming, I actually got another filter. Haida actually sent me a three-stop, which I did not have before, which, I don't know, it might come in the handy today. I don't know. Normally I start with a six, 
but we'll see how the three stop goes maybe i can get some use out of that we'll see this is actually a short walk it was maybe a mile and for where i'm staying it's maybe 20 minutes 25 minutes not that long at all and as you all know in new york city i easily do a lot more walking than that now we're going to take this turn here and make our way down to the pier wow it's amazing how much of a difference it is on this side of the bridge as opposed to the side that i just came from as i'm walking yes i am listening to music and i know there was a question that well not really a question but sort of a statement that a lot of people have made since the ultimate street god video about listening to music being dangerous i can hear perfectly fine because i have the transparency mode turned on on my camera where i want to be is i don't know maybe this this is a very nice composition so what i'm going to do is take off take out my tripod and at least set that up and we'll figure out the composition in a second so what i'm doing now is getting out my filters i'm gonna set that up go ahead and see what kind of filters we need because we will need some filters let's start with the six stop which is this one in the middle this is our 1.8 huh it's still bright so we can actually go down to the 10 stop turn steady shot off turn the two second timer on and let's see what that looks like it's not bad not bad but i think we're gonna move a bit so i decided to move back onto the bridge the reason being i was not really feeling the compositions underneath the bridge for some odd reason i don't know it just wasn't speaking to me so i said screw it because i did like up here so part of me is thinking about standing right there in that median and shooting with the 85. probably crazy to do but for some odd reason i feel like that makes sense and i feel like i want to do that okay so i've switched to the 85 loxia and if you kind of see what the composition is just from here see how much better that would be centered so i think i want to get that so let's walk so it's not perfectly centered but we're gonna see what we can make out of this now i will say this is very stupid i would not recommend anybody else to do this but i do have this barrier doesn't do me any good but i just thought I would mention it, I guess. Ooh, that is so crispy. It's a crisp image. I do need it. Maybe I just need to go lower now that I think about that. I may be a little too high. So I brought the tripod a little bit down. I might bring it even lower, but yeah, I think that's the issue. I think we need to be a little lower because we do have a little bit of that bridge in the way. Yeah, it's still a little high. The angle is a little off to me. On top of that, I don't think the sunset is gonna be that great after all. It looked like it was going to, but the way that the cloud pattern is going and the sun is still going down, because we're almost at the sunset time, it's not looking great. It's not looking great. So we're just gonna see what we can get. Let's do two and a half seconds. See if we can get some light trails. Oh, nice. Very nice. Let's get a horizontal. It's not bad. I mean, there's not really much you can get here. <laughs> but yeah, I do like the depth of this bridge. Darn, if I could get center, like honestly, the ideal location is like right here in the center. Well, it's not the center line, but it's sort of like this left side line i need to be in this line right here and shoot that dead on that's that's not possible but that is the ideal composition i'm adventurous but i'm not that adventurous so let's just see what we can do to salvage 
like this. Let's go a little lower. Eh, that's not bad. It's not great either, but it's not bad. <laughs> So we're at four seconds. I'm still using the 10 stop in D. Yeah, you see we're catching some of those trails. Go down to F10. I want to keep it at about two and a half seconds. Don't want to go too fast here. I do have my remote, but you all know from other videos that I rarely like to use it. Just because I don't like pulling out extra stuff and attaching unnecessary things. And the two second timer works just just fine so that's about as much as we're gonna get from this i think i'm gonna change locations and try to get something else yeah see the conditions just trash trash so we're just we're, we're on a mercy run now just trying to see what we can find something of interest so part of me knew that that was gonna be the likelihood but i wanted to have doubts about that Okay, since I'm on the bridge now, you can actually see a little bit better of how trash the sunset is. I've had terrible luck on the West Coast. This is actually worse than Chicago was. Wow. So, not really getting ideal sunsets. It's never really happened to me like this, but that, that's where we are. That is where we are. I don't know if dismantling this on a bridge is really that great of an idea, but here we are. <laughs> Okay, so that was a bust. I think we got maybe a couple of good shots earlier, but that's about it. Nothing that I'm like, ooh, I'm amazed that I got that. No, nope, don't feel like that at all today. Now, the fact that I didn't come away with any winners is a good example of, like everyone just assumes that I just go out and take great photos, but that's literally far from the truth. Because in this instance, I really just, I think I had higher ambitions. So when I first came out, I was excited. And then as the evening went on, I kind of knew where we were going to end up. So I was less optimistic that I would get anything worth actually capturing. You know what? I wonder, this is gonna be real crazy, but, but then again, it's not the first time I've done something crazy, so that's not surprising, actually. Let's see, 21? Okay, I think I can get what I, what I think I see with the 21. Okay, this is different. Hmm. Okay. I don't know, but let's try a handheld long exposure with this. So we need to go slow. Okay. I think I found something that I kind of like. This is just exploring. I kind of like this now. So let's let's figure out a composition that works. See, it's gonna be a difficult tight shot. And I think the 21 is the correct lens for this. I just need to figure, do I wanna be higher or lower for this? That's gonna be the interesting bit. Yeah, I think I need to be like right here. Let's run a test. Uh, I need to drag it a little bit more. So let's go to F10, ISO 64. And I think I can handhold that. I think we might get something that we actually like here. So I was getting ready to say, you know, what do I do on a evening or a day where it's a bust of an evening? Maybe all is not lost, maybe. <laughs> okay, we're gonna get something here. 
That may be a little too slow. Maybe? Oh no, that was actually kind of perfect. Okay. That's not bad. This is not half bad. I'm actually really pleased right now. Oh my gosh. Okay, okay. I'm a little happy. I'm excited. Okay, we we got some good stuff. What do you know, when you're determined, you actually can get something worth your, worth your time. How about the, let's get this centered like this. Oh my gosh. I think we're in the money. Oh wow, I'm in love with these. Wow, I've actually just amazed myself right now. How about that? Shoot, that was a little out of focus, but that's okay. That's okay. These, we, we like them as is. Okay, I'm having fun now. I'm having fun. Screw the sunset. We got a nice bridge. Oh yeah, this is looking great. Sweet. Look at this. Look at that. That's amazing. Not all was lost there. So we made something work. And I can't wait to edit these because I have a few ideas in mind. Just because if you look at the like paint, the sort of metallic nature, that stands out. That was a lot better than just 20, 20 minutes ago. I think that that sort of rectified the situation. We're going to take these images, see what we can do with them. But now it's time to go look for some food. Because I think after that, I don't need to take anything else. I feel like I have been rewarded. I was able to get something. Even though it wasn't what I originally wanted, we still made it work. So we didn't really change anything. I mean, remember when I came out, I started with this, the Sony A1. Ariana still have this in hand with the Loxia 21 f2.8 so not much really changed there if I just get one good photo I'm okay I'm content with that because I still feel like that's that's winning you know okay if we didn't take anything it's still a winning day things happen you can't have everything perfect but that's one of the fun things about photography is that you always got something to look forward to the, the next day so just don't feel like that you're you have to go out and catch these these bangers these amazing photos because that's just not realistic you know if, if you're if you set yourself out to look for images like that you're gonna fail because that's just not how the real world works so you're gonna have those times where you might not see anything the conditions might not work but then there are those times where, oh gosh, you can just knock off frame after frame and it's, it's beautiful. But that's what keeps the enjoyment. I have been doing this for 22 years and I still love it. Still enjoy it just as much as I did 22 years ago. And then of course, the other fun bit is that I love the travel aspect. You know, working for companies like I was in Seattle doing the photo walk up there. And I, I enjoy that, you know, even if it's just to travel and see a place that I hadn't been to before, that's still winning. I don't necessarily have to always take photos there. I just take in where I am and enjoy it for myself. So learn to do that. That's what I think a lot of people really miss in photography or really just in life in general. It's like you focus too much on everything else and you don't take the time to actually enjoy the moment of where you are. So it's like, put down the camera just enjoy where you are. Take in the sights. There's a lot to see. You don't have to take a picture of everything and share it on Instagram. That's just not, that's, that's just not something that you have to do. Because if I don't post something on Instagram, I'm not disappointed by that. The one thing is, is that your brain is the memory card that you always have with you. 
So if you take all these experiences that you have and you see something that just really attracts your attention, you'll never forget it. You'll always retain that memory. And I think that's one of the, the greatest gifts that we have. So you don't always need this. You don't always need to have this in hand. You know, just as long as you have your, your mind, you take in where you are, you'll remember that. And that's, that's just the beauty of life. So with that said, we're gonna get across this street. Well, once the light turns back, we're gonna cross the street and make our way back to my hotel. So hopefully you enjoyed this video, my walk through downtown Portland. I guess I'll see you all in the next video, which I don't know when that will be, but just know I'll see you at some point in the future. So until next time, I'll see you all later.